With the Add Edit system, you can easily set your preferences for various displays and filters. Let's take a look at how this feature works. Open Add Edit and click on this triangle next to your name in the top right. From the drop down menu, select Preferences. Click to open the homepage preferences. Agent ID and Card View are set as defaults for viewing listings in Add Edit. Card View looks like this. Every listing is on one of these cards. But if you click on this option, the three bars, it will activate List View with this spreadsheet layout. If you prefer to see the List View option each time you log in, click here on List View to set it as your preference. You can always switch back to Card View if you wish. Similarly, each listing displays the agent ID as shown here. If you would rather the agent name display by default, click here to set. Here's what that looks like in your search results. For both of these view options, whatever you click to select will show here in bold font and is automatically saved. Below your view preferences are additional default settings. These are search result filters for listing type, listing status, limit time frame, sort by, sort order, and additional filters. For example, the default for listing type is set to single family, but let's say I only work with land and farms for my business, so that's all I want to see. I'll come back into my preferences and click to uncheck the single family box. Then click to check the boxes for lots and land and farm. Or let's say I want to see all the statuses. I'll switch to that by clicking the single all box. Next, I'll switch my time frame preference. The default is set to show only listings edited within the last 30 days. But I want to see all listings regardless of the time frame. So I'll check the any time box. I can switch the sort by option too. I want to sort by the expiration date, so I'll click that box for my preference. Then I can see what's coming up for expiration. If I want to change my sort order from ascending to descending, I can click the sort order button to toggle between the two options. In this filters box, I can start typing a filter that I want as my preference. Once I start typing, the options narrow and I can find my selection. Filters I can set include MLS number, listing agent, office, city, or county. I'm going to enter my own office. Now that I've got my preferences set how I want them, it's important to remember that while any changes I make here in the defaults section are automatically saved, they will not take effect until I reload the Add Edit system in my web browser. So I'll click the X in the upper left corner to close preferences then hit the refresh button on my web browser. Now the new filters that I've set are displayed and will return this way every time I log back in. The final preferences section is auto pop. Do you mostly auto pop from a single county? If so, you can enter it here as your default. We also have three different auto pop search types, address, owner, and parcel ID. If you have a preference, such as Parcel ID, select that here and it will always be my default search for Autopop. As with the view settings, whatever you select here is automatically saved. Now whenever I go to add a new listing through Autopop, the defaults I set are shown. We hope you enjoy the flexibility Preferences adds to your ad edit experiences. As always, if you have any questions, contact our help desk.